Hey everybody, happy Mother's Day. I hope you get to spend it with your mom or your children if you're a mom. Either way, I hope it's great. I don't get to be with my mom because she's back home in Utah, but I wanted to make her a present because I like making things and I like giving her presents. So if you follow me here on YouTube, you know that I just got a Glowforge, which is a big fancy laser cutter. And I thought, what a perfect time to use my Glowforge to make a present for my mom. I'm gonna try to design a sign and then cut it and paint it and give it to my mom for Mother's Day. And I'm gonna show you the whole process along the way. So let's get into it. My mom's grandparents, my great grandparents, they used to run a cafe back in Idaho in like the 1930s called Ma's Cafe, which is just adorable. So why not make my cafe sign as though it were a sign from Ma's Cafe in the 1930s in Idaho. So I just spent way too long scouring Google for old photos of cafe signs and cafes, especially from that era in the 1930s. I didn't find anything that was like a perfect representation of what I have in my head, but I figure I can take pieces of all these things and try to make something that would still fit the image that I want for this sign. So here's like a basic look of what I'm thinking. I noticed that they always have these really big letters that say cafe, which makes sense. And then I noticed in windows of these cafes, they would often have things like fresh coffee, lunches, meals, things like that. So I'm going to put fresh coffee and then hot meals. And then the place that the cafe was in, Firth, Idaho. Gotta love those spud roots. And they often have like a little cursive name at the top. So I have a, a really bad drawing. Now I have to figure out how to make it on the computer. I pay for this service online called Envato Elements, which gives me access to a lot of great video templates, photo templates, web templates, fonts, things like that. So I found a lot of great badges. That's pretty much the shape that I want is this one. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna make that much bigger. I don't know what all these little stupid dust things are. I don't like them. How do I get rid of them? Let's add some vintage text to my thing. Start with the cafe, because that's gonna be the biggest. Oh, this is such a frustrating program. Holy crap. What happens if I make my own shape? Yeah, I mean, that's... Looking like a thing, I guess. Fresh coffee. Hot meals. That's looking good. I really want it to be pretty simple because the idea is that this was like in Idaho in the 30s. It's not supposed to look like Paris. I don't think that they were fancy. That's all I'm saying. Some text at the bottom says Firth, Idaho. But I want this one to be much simpler, not fancy looking. Make this a little bigger. Because the cafe should be like the big thing. As though you were on the street and you were like, what is that building? It's a cafe. I should add some little bit to the Ma's Cafe and then I'll pretty much be done. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. There's different settings you can use on the Glowforge like cut out, engrave, and score. And I believe that in order to differentiate between the types of cut that you wanna make, you have to change the color. The red lines are going to be score lines, the black lines are cut, the blue lines are engraved. I think I did everything right with like colors and stuff, but we're gonna find out. Okay. I was so excited. The pieces are all done. They turned out so good. I gotta figure out what colors I wanna paint and I don't I don't know what I wanna do. And it's, it's kinda scary. I don't wanna have to redo it. So, you know, colors are important. Let's look at some color options. Ugh, I feel like yellow is always a good safe option and it's really pretty. I've got orange, got some light blues, a peach, soft green, that's metallic. We don't want that. I could even make like the banner dark. No, I don't want to do that. Red. We got some purple. That might look good. Oh my gosh, I also have milk paint. That's exciting. I love milk paint. I hate this. If it was for me, I wouldn't care. 
but because it's my mom, I, I wanted to be good. Let's approach this more logically. So we've got our sign. I am great at drawing. I'm artistic in other ways. What if cafe is red? I could have the banner be white maybe? Or I could do yellow. Light blue across the center. Or we do the light green, white. Straight up black circle. Green as the banner. Yellow is the words. Yellow is the banner. Blue be the moss. Or new piece of paper. That's a no good yellow. Also got this like ivory color. That's pretty. I could top it off with the milk paint on the outside as well. Let's paint this. What do you say, friends? It is day two. I'm tired, haven't really woken up yet, but I wanna get this done because Mother's Day is fast approaching. So I need to ship it out to her. I got my tea, so I'm, I'm set. It's gonna be great. So one of the things that I realized last night when I was going to sleep thinking a lot about this project was that I could have just painted them before I laser cut them. I don't know why I didn't do that. But I kind of like for this that it's like hand painted because it's an old sign right? And it probably maybe would have been hand painted. I've got my nice circle and that looks great. I was really proud of that work on the outside. That was really hard. I painted the cafe black and then put a red trim around it. I think that looks really nice. And of course, I finished the moths with a bright red and I'm very happy with my color choices. All that's left is to put it all together, make it real, and then I'll probably distress it. What if I just did it like that? I think that would be pretty good. <laughs> It's all done. It's perfect. It's not perfect. There's a lot of errors in here, but I'm really happy with it considering this was my first like custom Glowforge project and I've never made something like this. So I think it turned out great. I do think that the cafe is slightly off center. I think it needs to be a little more that way, but Ma Young, which would have been her name back in the 30s or whatever, she made this sign all by herself in her little cafe and she wasn't the greatest at centering. I clearly inherited that. Hopefully my mom enjoys it too, and hopefully it'll be a really nice addition to her kitchen. I'm gonna be making more projects like this, so if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments. If you're interested in getting a Glowforge, which I highly recommend because it's awesome, there's a link in the description. You can get some money off your order, which is just great. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing that. I do a lot of juggling, but I also am going to start doing more fun crafts like this. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Thanks for all you do. I'm sure your kids appreciate it. Happy Mother's Day, mom. I hope you like your gift and I love you. I'll see you next time. I got it on my finger and now my finger's trying to glue itself to itself and it's, I hate that feeling. I hate the feeling of super glue. Blah.